Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Katie here and I'm all about cosmetics, beauty and aesthetic. If we are on the same page, please like to support, subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications. And today we are going to talk about best uh, makeup of 2021. Some of the old discoveries of mine and some of new ones. So let's get started. And guys, I would like to start with cleansing because that's the most important step, I believe, in diluting the makeup and stuff. And uh, you know, there are many cleansers. Maybe I can talk about the cleansers like some other time, but uh, there are two products that I truly love. It dilutes makeup so nicely. And first of all, um, I want to talk about the Vanilla Co. Vanilla Co. Uh, Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm Original. I've used up, I don't know, like 10 or whatever. It just basically, as you can tell, it's just basically a cream balm. And you apply it onto the face, uh, massage it for a few seconds, add water. It uh, turns into like a nice milk lotion and you wash it all off and it dilutes any makeup possible. Same as this one from Pencanyul. A deep cleansing oil but you need to massage for a little longer than with this guy after this one I feel the skin is a little bit on the dry side but this one because it's an oil maybe I don't know oh but you still need to <clears throat> use a cleanser after this or this you know uh, two steps <laughs> for sure but somehow it still doesn't dry out the skin as much as this one does Next ones, I want to talk about uh, prepping your skin primers and here I've got a few of them and for sure I've got one of my favorites from Toucher, the skin, uh, the silk canvas. So it looks like this. What I usually do, I put it on my um, back of my arm and I warm it up before applying onto the face and then you just dab in to your skin on the face and here we go the skin is ready and it also lightens and brightens your skin as well and it's got some uh, skincare benefits in it as well and the next one is I actually I don't really know is it the same one but I've used up this one from NYX um, no filter blurring primer um, I love this one and my friend got me um, Shine Killer, also from NYX, uh, and I actually cannot really tell the difference between these two, I like them both. This one works perfectly well for dry skin, for normal skin, for, uh, for oily skin in summer, it just holds the makeup in place, as for me, I love this one. And the next one, I got a small version of it from Rare Beauty, always an optimist, pore diffusing primer. And this one is so beautiful. This one, it doesn't have um, all those, you know, like harmful ingredients. It's uh, one of those from <laughs> Clean Cosmetics. It evens up everything, hides your pores, and it looks beautiful under makeup. And for eyes, guys, I would like to talk about two products. First of them is NARS, a smudge proof eyeshadow base. And it looks like this, basically, let me show you here. And the next one is Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Anti-Aging. I've used up one of them this year, and it looks like this more of a like creamy light brown cream both of them uh nars and urban decay they work really well and uh keep your eyeshadows in place for the whole day it's not like you know eight hours for the whole day really guys there's one more primer i forgot to mention from laneige skin veil base spf 25 ps plus plus uh they um have it in green purple and pink i don't remember the last color yeah but i usually use a green one it looks like this and in case you've got any redness or anything it actually covers it so well and when you work it out it doesn't leave uh, green <laughs> 
a Dreamcast at all. So let's see. Okay, guys, and next I want to talk about foundations and cushions and stuff that we apply onto our skin after prepping it. My all-time favorite, Burberry. This foundation, I don't know, no one talks about it, but guys, this is such a beautiful foundation. Uh, this one is Fresh Glow Foundation, SPF 15 PA++++. And uh, my one is personally number 11. I don't know why people talk about it. it looks like this it's a little bit runny but guys this one gives you such a beautiful finish it's buildable um it's like light to medium coverage but you can basically build it up till medium to full i believe but this one looks beautiful on the skin i love this one especially in summer when my skin is oily and you know when your skin is oily it's very easy to move the makeup all around and this one it stays i love this one burberry burberry is so good you guys also there are a few cushions that i've been loving a lot first one i want to talk about <laughs> i've got two of them uh dior captured dream skin moist and perfect cushion I uh, usually buy my ones in uh, 010 SPF 50 PA++++ and I've used both of them during summer, fall season. It actually gives you a light coverage, but it mostly gives you the glow and that it also, you know, like kind of evens up the skin tone. It makes your skin look um healthy and the other one is also from dior dior snow perfect light perfect glow cushion and actually i thought i'm buying this one but sometimes i was like just give me dior cushion my one is zero like 10 and it's okay and like, okay yeah here you are and i ended up with this one and i was like oh my gosh it's awesome and i use it in winter a lot now these days my one is c10 spf again 50 pa plus 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 this one gives you a bit more of a coverage but also leaves your skin complexion even and glowy uh, the last but not least is one of my favorite cushions ever it's ayope oh my oh my my what is this ayope air cushion and my one is uh, natural um in number in shade 21 vanilla spf 50 plus pa plus 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 can you even tell i don't know but this one guys it's such a lovely cushion it evens up your skin tone it evens your skin imperfect like not imperfection with skin texture and somehow it moisturizes really well um i think you know korean products always give you some um skincare benefits and i don't know this one is just beautiful it looks really really beautiful on the skin and i really love this one this one you can actually wear in summer in fall in winter in spring anytime and it looks flawless and guys there's only one concealer because i'm not a concealer person there's nothing to conceal under eyes or imperfections if there are some pimples i'm like eh, whatever i'd better heal it than conceal it so uh the thing that i use occasionally really really rare uh from nars radiant creamy concealer it looks like this it actually conceals well but as for me it dries the skin and i just don't like that extra coverage i think you know whenever you put that extra coverage onto your face you look older somehow i've got that feeling maybe i'm wrong i don't know but it's my personal perception but what i can do i can apply it like you know like maybe a little here 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 and um work it all out in summer when i do not really want to put on foundation at all i don't know concealers for me it's just like a paint on your face but again if you like it if you do like concealers that's the one i would recommend to you 
Guys, there's also one powder foundation that I've been loving this year a lot, but I've been wearing it every day in summer, mostly, because I don't know, it's a powder foundation, so I kind of get that feeling that it would look a little bit like, look cakey, maybe, or just too dry. So it looks like this, it comes in this case. This one is from Dior, um, Dior Snow Compact. Luminous foundation, brightening foundation. My one in 010. SPF 20, PA++++. Rechargeable, refillable. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. That's awesome. So basically, guys, it looks like this. It comes with a nice mirror and a sponge. You basically just pick up the product, this hand, no, and you dab, dab, dab all around your face. And it makes your skin look beautiful. It covers the pores, it evens up the complexion, and also, guys, it kind of gives you that natural skin look that I think everyone wants. <laughs> Next, guys, I would like to talk about powders, and this year I've got only two powders that I truly like. Uh, first one is by Terry. Um, this one is Colorless uh, Hydration Setting uh, Hydro Care Setting Powder, and it looks like it comes with a sponge and it looks basically like this just transparent uh, you really need a little bit to set your makeup i usually use it like in the center and second one is from laura mercier translucent loose satin powder this one doesn't have a sponge and it looks like this this one is light like beige powder and this one um, sets your makeup also really beautifully and you can bake with it if you want you can do whatever you want you can apply it all over your face if you want to um, this one looks really beautiful the first eyebrow product is a powder from Shuimura a little bit broken <laughs> it looks like this it gets two it, it's got two shades a brown one and more of a grayish one I usually use only the brush to apply it and this one brow palette seal brown stone gray and the second product actually I hated it at first this one is the brow glue from NYX and it actually doesn't do what it has to do for me it does laminate my brows but I really like using it just you know like as a final step because it actually defines the uh, eyebrow hair and um, here at the very beginning of the eyebrow it doesn't do anything to me it cannot control my eyebrow hair but here the rest of the eyebrow I can actually manage it and put it in place that's why it actually made into my favorites guys there is one more product that you can actually use as a setting powder or as i like to do i apply it after my foundation and this one is from hourglass ambient oh my gosh it started to fade away lightning palette anyways guys it looks like this and i really <coughs> excuse me i truly like um the mirrors in hourglass uh, products it's so big and nice and I usually just swipe it all over and dab 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 all over my face after the foundation uh, but before the powder and what it does it gives you the natural glow it makes your makeup look even more perfect also I've got one more product from hourglass and this one is a highlighter why do we jump into highlighters no idea I just want to talk about hourglass hourglass again ambient highlighter and it looks like this and here it looks like this I also swipe all over and apply it anywhere I want and this one is beautiful every time I use it I've got I receive compliments let's get into bronzers I believe and here I've got one of my favorites I've been using it for many years for many years like two <laughs> okay and this one is from the Sam my one in the shade 08 a uh, single blusher but this one is a bronzer and it looks like this you can tell I've used it up. 
I discovered a few bronzers that I'm in love with this year. And first one is too, too cool for school uh, art class. My one is brownish. Yeah, it's just brown. And it looks like this. I've used up quite a lot last year. And I usually use these two as a bronzer and contouring the face. And this one I use as an eyeshadow and contouring the nose. One more powder. Everyone knows it. Blah, da, da. Hula from Benefit. And Hula is such a lovely powder. It looks like this. And actually, I even figured out how to use this brush, even though it reminds me of the, you know, like, I don't know, like, painting the wall brush. And the last but not the least is from Charlotte Tilbury. I wanted this palette so badly, and now I know why. I thought I wouldn't use it, you know? I, I thought I will use only the mirror. The mirror is huge, like, it's really beautiful. But these two shades, oh my gosh, guys, they're so beautiful. Actually, first I use this one. Hula I used in summer a lot. And after I used Too Cool for School, I just mix these two together and go over everywhere with a big fluffy brush. And it looks so well. It looks blended, nice and beautiful. Here, the highlighter... <clears throat> I don't, I, I, I would say that this one is way better. I like it better. This one is too sheer. A few times I used it as, <clears throat> excuse me. A few times I used it as an eyeshadow and it looked really well. And a blush, blush is beautiful. Blush is gorgeous. I actually used it today. And another one that oh, I've been using this year is one from Milani, uh, 08 T Rose powder blush. Ouch. And I just do not know how to open. Oh, okay. It looks like this. And this one, you can build it up and make a really beautiful pinky cheeks. Guys, another blush. It's like falling into pieces. I've been using it for good two years already from Etude House. Lovely cookie blusher. Number BR401. Looks like this. It also comes with a puffer and I actually like the puff, but it just became so dirty and it just fell into pieces. So I threw it away. <laughs> Everything fell into pieces. But this blush, it stays for the whole day. And as you can see, it actually complements any skin tone. Okay, guys, now let's talk about um, eyeshadows. And first, I would like to talk about eyeshadow palettes. And first one is Color Play Eyes from Etude Haut. Haut. <laughs> Etude House. It looks like this. This one is one of my favorite palettes. And it looks like this, these two colors and these two colors I've used the most. And um, I might repurchase the same palette just for this very colors. The quality of this eyeshadow is really good. It stays the whole day and it blends really easily. So I highly recommend this one and it costs only like uh, maybe 10 to 12 dollars. And the second palette that I really like is Too Faced Born This Way, The Natural Nudes. I think I purchased it maybe in the, end, uh, in the end of summer or maybe in the beginning of fall. But this one is gorgeous. Look at these colors. You can basically make any eye look you want. And it blends well, it stays well. It's beautiful. Also, I've got a few other single eyeshadows. And first, I want to mention one of my must-haves from Giorgio Armani, Eye Tint number 12. This one is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys, look at it. It gives you that beautiful glow. It's so beautiful. You can put it under eyes or like any way you want. It stays well, it looks so beautiful. And the next two are uh, from Revlon, Colorstay Cream Eyeshadow. 
and I purchased it a while ago and I fell in love with it. I wear it every day. My ones are in uh, the shade 710 and 745. This ones I wear it today along with another one. I will show you later. And it looks like this. Well, let's watch it. Let's watch it before. And the second one looks like this. I would definitely buy more of them. They are good. This one is from Aridown uh, G12 Mono Eyes. It looks like this. I love this one. This one is the eyeshadow that I use today over this one from Revlon. It looks like this. Guys, I don't know. Can you tell? It's so beautiful. And there are two more. One from Etude House. Um, look at my eyes jewels pk017 and it looks like this this one is also a really nice shimmery color this one has more it has larger particles and this one has finer ones and i love both of them and the last one I would like to talk about, the last from Single Eyeshadows, is from Sam Samuel uh, 08. It's a beautiful golden shimmer. And again, it looks beautifully on its own or over some other eyeshadows. And the last but not least is this dinosaur veteran of makeup from the Sam Samuel Under Eye maker and guys why do i keep it the package is so bad it always breaks like this one just flies away but i truly like actually the glitter is really good you just tap it in and let me show you and you apply it can you see i like to apply it under eyes and from this side you've got this one already falls you've got a pencil what it does you basically draw this under eye lines and it makes your complexion look useful that's why i still keep this one i truly hope i can repurchase it because it looks ugly let's talk about mascaras this one is from vivian sabo paris and cabaret artistic volume mascara it looks like this I usually, not usually, I use it on a daily basis. I use it today and there are two different colors, a golden one and a black one. Somehow I like the black one better. I even repurchased it again. I've got a new one in my vanity. The wand looks like this. I actually used to hate plastic ones, but after this one, I'm like, I've got no idea, but... You don't need to curl your eyelashes, eyelashes, lashes. You don't need to do anything with it. It curls your lashes, holds in place and it separates it. It gives you volume, it gives you lens, it does everything. Guys, and it costs like five bucks. I have no idea, but this product is a gem. It's really good, it's really good. Give it a try, you will love it. Okay, guys, let's talk about the lip products. And here I want to start with lip liners. And there are two lip liners that I truly love. They stay well and they also, you know, um, look really smooth and nice. It doesn't, like, exaggerate the dry patches if you've got any and stuff. You can actually line it up or fill it in. Both work well for that. First one is NYX Professional Makeup Lip Pencil Nude Beige. It looks like this. Really beautiful nude color. And second one is from LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner Coquette. It looks like this. This one, LA Girl, is actually creamier than NYX. But I believe, um, as for me, NYX is harder to eat and wipe off, but I like both of them. And today I actually use uh, LA Girl. I just lined my lips with it. And I also use um, Buxom 
full on plumbing lip polish on the shade white Russian sparkle. It looks like this. I really like this one. It actually boxes them. I've got no idea what's about it, but it actually plums your lips and it makes it feel look like plumber and fuller. And if you've got any wrinkles or dry patches, it just evens it up. Here we go. It's more like of a sheer color with white sparkles. Talking about the uh, glosses, my favorite one, and as you can tell, I've used a lot of them. Dior Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumber. It's just beautiful. This is actually my favorite color. When you apply it, it actually doesn't look orangey. It looks really sheer. And another color that I like is this uh, light pink, but I actually bought a small version of it. Look at it. It's so adorable, isn't it? And so cute. Wow. But it's basically sheer. You cannot really see anything. Love this ones. Again, from Dior, I use a lip glow color reviver balm and i basically stick only to this very color uh 001 pink looks like this when you apply it it looks very sheer but then it kind of you know like reveals the color and your lips become pink but i truly enjoy this pink color a lot it looks beautiful and the last lip gloss that I love, and I used it up, this one is from Bourjois Effect 3D Gloss Balm Action Moisture 8 Hours. My one is 29 Ron Rose Charismatic. It looks like this. It looks beautiful. Can you see? It looks gorgeous. And the last but not least, I would like to talk about Rare Beauty um, Lip Souffle Fearless Matte Lip Cream. This one, oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Guys, this one is gorgeous. It looks so beautiful, so creamy. It doesn't dry your lips. It looks like this. Guys, this color is gorgeous. I've been wearing it a lot and whenever I wear it, it feels really comfortable. It moisturizes your lips. It doesn't feel dry or flaky or anything. Okay, guys, and setting sprays, I didn't use many this year, but I've used a few of them. And the best one, hands down, is this one from Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This one makes your makeup look beautiful. Even if you feel like, oh, it looks a little bit cakey. After this one, it just puts everything in place and your makeup it looks flawless i have no idea what it, what it does but i don't even want to try anything else this one is perfect like hands down perfect well guys that was it these were all the products i wanted to share with you today the products i've been loving last year back in 2021 let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to share more different items with you that i've been enjoying last year for example i don't know spfs perfumes or some other random items of beauty and not beauty as well um, please let me know and see you guys next time. Bye-bye!